show your support, like, share and subscribe. Well, we've, uh, we're full of food. <laughs> we're home from work. Yay. And we're, we're back here again. We are. We're back here in two different places. Indeed. Using How are you doing? Technology. <laughs> How are you doing, Mr. TBG? Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Plodding on. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah. Just back, back to normal now. Back to schedule and... Yeah. Normal service yeah. has been resumed now that bank holidays have kind of gone and oh, yeah, true, yeah. and yeah well until the end of this month <laughs> when yeah. they come back again but uh, yeah they always have a although I'm at work less they always have a, a way of messing up my schedule rather than opening it up so that I can actually do more stuff which is yeah. weird well it's because the world naturally assumes that when there's a bank holiday weekend it means you have to go and do things yeah that is true and is it, my... in fairness like the, the other weekend I was away for my mum's birthday Oh, that's um, right, though. Yeah, yeah, it was nice, but it meant that I was nowhere near any recording equipment. Yeah. Damn you, mother! <laughs> <laughs> Why is she having a birthday? Is exactly. She's she's had she has one every year. She doesn't need another one. No, just stop now. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, 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 all good. What yeah, about yourself? Because was... I well, understand that you were a bit peaky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, obviously, bank holiday weekend. Also had plans too, which was fine. Mm. But then again, like you say, away from camera, away from videoing. But the, yeah, the two days that preceded that was only can be can only be described as one of the worst days I've ever had, <laughs> with mm. a, a terrible bout of food poisoning. Lovely stuff. Yeah, wasn't a pleasant Thursday morning from four a.m. No, I, I I would imagine it probably wasn't. Yes. No. Uh, and then, yeah, it was all fine by thir- uh, Thursday evening. I say all fine. It, uh, you know, physically, it was fine. <laughs> it was all quiet on the Western Front. <laughs> yeah. Externally, yeah, externally it was fine. Internally, it was still, you know, not nice. Bubbling. Yes, probably literally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I found myself a comfy, a comfy position Thursday evening, which was oh, okay. literally just horizontal. Mm. Like, hands by my sides, horizontal. And then for the whole of Friday, I was like, if I move, <laughs> it's I'll going feel to hurt. To stay here. <laughs> yeah. So I just watched YouTube videos. <laughs> and, yeah, didn't have a voice, really, either, to do any voiceovers while I was lying in bed. That could have been quite handy. Oh, yeah. Still, but yeah, sadly, yeah, yeah, still sadly all of that gave me a horrible throat as well. So mm. Fun. Yeah, but get, yeah. <laughs> Hence why the um, uh, get fact was two days late on on ch- uh, Tuesday instead of Sunday, mm-hmm. and Master Trainer series was two days late on Friday rather than Wednesday tomorrow on time of recording. Ah, uh, yes, yes. I Just get filming you. the last bit of it actually, which is why I'm actually in my in my purple suit Don't as we record. Get up. This is <laughs> first time either of us have ha- actually been. In uniform, I'll call it. Yeah, I was going to say. Usually, these are quite <laughs> nice for that because we don't have to, yeah, dress up because yeah. no one can see us. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, no, I've. Um, oh, I did actually record the Venonat one yesterday, which is one of the ones, as you know, that have come out. Um, but um, the laptop ran out of battery just at the end of the battle. Ow! Oh. So it didn't save that, which was fine. So I plugged it in and went to record again. But you can only do one battle per Master Trainer per day. Oh, so, okay. Couldn't That's remember annoying. when I'd last saved. Yeah. So I just thought, ah, oh, screw it, I'll just do it tomorrow. Fair enough. <laughs> so yeah, um, done Venonat already, about five minutes before we got here. Mm-hmm. And I'll do Venomoth after and have some clever editing in there. Nice. Just to tie it over, Yeah. basically. But yeah, so that's on the way. Tom- uh, next week's... Can't really remember... Yeah, mm. can't remember. Uh, Ze- oh, Ze- there's some Zelda tips coming for people. Oh, okay. Back on the Zelda. The while. Yeah. Back on the Zelda train. Back on the Zelda train, and then something else which I'll figure out. Actually, I could do with digging out your um, shrine walkthroughs just to see if there are any of the shrines that I have started oh, that couldn't yes. finish. 
That might yeah, be I need worth to do doing. a few more of those because I'm I'm still on the hunt for hearts. So yeah, I, can I get need the master to... sword. So I'm, I think I'm about two hearts short. Yeah, I need to. Um, I uh, yeah, I need to do a few more of those actually. Mm. I've I've done another run through, but I've actually started to do it for fun now. So there's a couple of shrines I've completed that have like external little bits first. Oh, okay, yes. But, so I can't actually show that in the walkthrough now because I've already done it. Yeah. Oh, what, <laughs> so like I'll the shrine to, yeah. quest things we yeah. have to do, yeah. Exactly right, yeah. Like the, I don't know if you've come across it before, but there's one that's on the Thundra Plateau. Uh, the only one that I've completed is the one with all the flowers around it. Oh, that <clears> one, yeah. <laughs> which was really annoying. I've accumulated another about seven, but I haven't yeah. even entertained them yet. Yeah. Although I think I'm going to have to because I'm running out of them. Although there's meant to be about 200 of the damn things. Yeah. I mean, there's some which are a minor test of strength, a modest test of strength, and a major test of strength. Oh, yeah. 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 Did, did one of them the other day, the major one. That was quite satisfying. Yeah. So I might just do a quick mm. overview of just just those rather than repeat it over and over. Yeah, of course. Because they repeat them. Yeah, obviously there's a few of those dotted around. So I might just do that and put a few hints and tips on there as I'm going along, just a little bit of text. Because these shrine walkthroughs, there's no voiceover, there's no me in the corner, it's just the shrine. Yeah, it's just you just actually the... completing the shrine, yeah. Yeah, so I'll just put a few little cool. word bits of hints and tips. But yeah, um, that's probably next week. I might do another shrine walkthrough then. Huh. 20 tips for Zelda and a shrine walkthrough. That will help me out at least even if yes. nobody else watches it <laughs> <laughs> exactly have you got much up and coming um well a week today from release of this video we have money in the bank pay-per-view so the thursday beforehand as in a week from today of recording <laughs> yeah because time travel um i will have a predictions video with another competition for Anybody that wants to try and out-predict me to win a lovely little key ring oh, okay. thing. I did that for WrestleMania and winged the uh, prize all the way over to... I think it went to Iowa in America. Oh, really? Definitely went overseas. I'm pretty sure it went to Iowa. So I'll be doing another one of those on Thursday. And then because... Technically, they're recorded and mid-edit at time of talking to you now. Yeah. A video will have either come out Saturday or the beginning of next week as well, just to kind of plug the gap of last bank holiday weekend so that I'm all caught up for the month. Oh, okay. Then. But because, again, time travel, I'm not entirely sure when that will be. It might already be out or it might be out soon. Yeah, fair enough. Yes. And then... Yeah, I've got that to find right a, to find another one pound wonder for later in the month. Oh yes, of course, I do like that. I do. You got to go, got to go shopping again. See if I can find anything. Yeah, well, you might find something next weekend. Ah, yes, I might very well do. Why is that? What's happening yes. next weekend? Segue. Well, <laughs> we are getting ourselves over to the Norwich uh, retro gaming market. Yes. Or is it gaming market, or it's is it retro just game? the Norwich gaming market, according to the website that's on my phone. Fair enough. But I fully expect there'll be just as many retro games as modern games. It certainly looks like it from the pictures, yeah. yes. Um, and there are a few stalls that are specifically um, retro game-based, as well as new game-based, so yes. Yes, that'll be fun. That's what we're going to... Are we going suited and booted? I think there was a request. Um, yes, <laughs> I, I I was certainly going to try and record some bits and pieces while we were there, whether that includes myself, yourself, or whoever in front of the camera, or it might just be similar to what you did when you went to Comic-Con. Oh, right, When yeah. you just recorded bits and pieces and edited them together. Um, yeah. I'm not entirely sure, but I will certainly be donning the outfit at least um, yeah, just in case probably, yeah probably join in on that one I think yeah. with, I'll, I'll go for the uh, the upper half yeah. I think 
Because oh. no one ever sees my bottom half. No, exactly. So <laughs> I don't yeah. have one. I've got four <laughs> legs. So I'm actually quadrupedal. <laughs> uh, see, I don't have any, so there oh, we go. Oh, fair enough. That's, that's... I've, I've inherited yours. <laughs> mm. Yes, I'm just a waste on the sofa. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Well, we're uh, we're going with our significant others, two we people are. of which have featured weirdly, actually, and at the similar times. Yeah, they're technically now part of YouTube canon. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that was entirely unplanned as well. I think you visited, and we said what we were planning to do over the weekend, and you were sort of like, "Oh, well, that's quite similar to what we were going to do." <laughs> yeah. Well, to yeah. be honest, if it, if it hadn't have been for the bank holiday weekend, my video probably, possibly would have come out even the same day yours did. Oh, really? Yeah. Again, <laughs> that would have com- been very com- strange. completely. Uh, yeah. Like completely by chance. <laughs> in indirect of each other, it was yeah ideas that we both had independently of each other, and obviously recorded completely independently. Like, I think yeah. when we spoke, I knew that you were both doing some Pokemon stuff, and I already had in my head that we were going to do Tied Together on, on my side of things, and yeah. Yeah, I fully <laughs> recommend that to people, that was fun. <laughs> both the Let's Go Battle and the Tied Together, they were both fun. Indeed, yeah. I have to do four player Tied Together soon. Definitely, yeah. Once, as, well, I've said this to you, um, obviously off camera, but for yeah. those who obviously weren't privy to that conversation. Um, once all the house bits and pieces are sorted, I definitely want to be purchasing that game. Because um, yeah. it's only like £12 or something ridiculous. Yeah, I'm and sure on the, uh, on the on the eShop there'll be a time where it's like 40% off or something. There's yeah. so many games like that just circle around with offers every now and again. Yeah. and Like, for example, I got the game Hollow the other day. It was down from, I think, 16 or £18 pounds to 99p. Oh, nice. So I was like, I don't know much about it. The trailer looks all right, but if it's almost 90% off, I might as well spend a pound on it. Yeah, exactly. You can't really lose for that, can you, to be honest? No, not particularly. I could... Could I technically count that as a one pound wonder? I mean, it's nearly a pound. Could do. Yeah. Maybe. Could do. I mean, in fairness, I enforced the rules myself, so I can kind of do what I like. But <laughs> could be, it could be like a uh, a subsection, like a, a one pound and under wonder. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That's that's hard to or, say actually. If you've <laughs> one pound and under wonder. <laughs> one pound and under wonder blunder. Yes, <laughs> yeah. No, I I do think you'll find probably a fair few over at the Richard Gaming or what the Gaming Fair. I reckon. Mm. Gaming yeah. market. I'll say it right in a minute. Gaming market. The gaming the gaming market. Yeah, there's yeah. Just again looking at the the traders for anyone who, well, who who might be in the area and might possibly be considering yes. going because it's only two pounds a ticket. Um, yeah. or f- I do know is someone it- who's in the area, but they're at a wedding, so you never know. <laughs> they could nip you in never there, know. Really. They, they, they might be able to sneak I, off. I mean, but if, if not, I've got a, I've got a, a game on what they want me to look out for, so I'll fairly. keep my eyes peeled. Well, there's they could get the uh, the early admission ticket like we have for all of four yes. pounds to get yeah, in there an hour uh, early. Extortionate. I know. But uh, yeah, Gold Source is quite a good one. Apparently, high end. Gaming um, trader. Oh, okay. With a nice Final Fantasy VII reference. Uh, Saw Thumb Retro Games, so I'm presuming they do retro games. <laughs> yeah, I would say so. Um, yeah, there's one that does Japanese retro games stuff. Ooh, interesting. Um, okay. There's yeah. a lot of things on the Japanese Pokemon Game Boy games that are not apparent on the uh, English ones. However, I can't speak or read Japanese, so that could be interesting. Ah, what, in terms of translation changes? Or... Yes. Oh, ah. well, translation and errors as well, in-game glitches. Even the artwork of the Pokemon, like the sprites and things. It's, yeah, oh, well, lots they of change them slightly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I do, oh, do want to learn Japanese. I that always thought that when I was a kid. I was like, I wish I could read Japanese because I would have just bought a load of import games yeah well someone at my workplace has kindly uh, given me a 30 second lesson and taught me that there's three different alphabets yes yeah so that's that's all i know so far yeah <laughs> i saw i saw their name in japanese i've obviously forgotten all of it excellent <laughs> one of them is based off of chinese type 
hieroglyphs? I don't, oh, uh, yeah, there's loads. Yeah. They've got their own unique styles. And I will learn one day once I find someone happy enough to teach me. <laughs> <laughs> someone crazy enough to go, yeah. yeah. Firstly, you've got to learn three different alphabets that you don't recognise. <laughs> yeah. Of symbols that don't resemble letters in any way. Exactly. Yeah, in fact, actually, as a side note, on I think it was Metal Gear Solid 2 when they did the name for Raiden, I believe, they, because they basically had it written out for the um, subtitles in a, one of the alphabets, they had to change his name to one of the other alphabets because it looked too similar to um, something terroristy. Oh, something really? like something like Bin Laden or Saddam or so, I'm not entirely sure what the, but the the actual look of it looked really similar to something yeah that you wouldn't really want to associate with a game so they ended up for his name only using a completely different alphabet and just shoving it in and oh, right. i guess that's allowed in japanese yeah <laughs> right okay yeah. well i'm going to ask that of said colleague and said <laughs> because said uh, yeah yeah I'm, I'm gonna find out about that one yeah so wow, okay. made quite of, did you say Metal Gear? Metal Gear Solid 2, yeah. Two, Character right, okay. Raiden. I'm looking into that and I'm yeah. going to ask. <laughs> I, I I think one of, either the alphabet they had to change his name to was Kenji or Kanji. Okay. Um but the rest of the game is written in the yeah, the kind of more standard Japanese alphabet. I think that other one is more a kind of um, more a social one or a less kind of highbrow, if that makes sense. Almost like using yeah. the Queen's English and then kind of regional dialect type. Like that kind of idea, at least. Yeah. But yeah, there was a big, there was a big hoo ha when they were developing it, and we're like, oh, we better not do that. <laughs> <laughs> Very interesting. Oh. <laughs> it's sort of well, it's not sort of similar, but the. The Japanese name for Magmar is Booba. Which, Booba. Um, <laughs> Booba, which people find quite funny because he's of the two sort of spherical shapes on the top of its head. Oh. Yeah, I guess that yeah. makes sense. And is that where, said, yeah. What's is that, that where a lot of their names come from then? Just weird Japanese-isms of what they look like that then get translated into English? I think that's just, I think that's just a similarity. Oh, okay. uh, a coincidence, sorry. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. Oh well. Hmm. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> so I may no, no, I don't think I'll get one of those at the gaming fair yet. Well, you it's never fair, know. It's a there. market. Are you are you looking for anything specific there then? Um, I'm tempted to invest in more GameCube type bits Ooh. if there's enough there. GameCube. It's, yeah, it's not something I ever had. Uh, but, um, do you yeah, own I've... a console at the moment? What's that, sorry? Do you own the console at the moment? Um, I do. Yes. But, sorry, but I you... just realised my game catcher was still recording. Ah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I've been recording for about 40 minutes. Excellent. Um, no signal for most of it. Yeah, um, it's... I do, yeah, but I don't really... It's... I will, put it that way. <laughs> oh, OK. Yeah. But so you I'm... don't really have a lot with it. If that makes no. sense. Right, I, okay. I, yeah. I want to play Gale of Darkness, Pokemon Gale of Darkness and Pokemon Coliseum. Gale mm -hmm. of the Darkness, everyone always goes on about, and it's something I've never experienced. Okay. And I don't really know what it is. And I, I haven't looked into it specifically, so I can find out for myself. Oh, okay. But it's a yeah, game that of... comes up so often on so <laughs> many <laughs> different forms of media. Ah, cool. So I'll look into it. Is there anything in particular you're looking for, or are you just general general browsing? General browsing, everyone mm -hmm. salutes. Um, yep. I what I definitely will be doing before we go is tampering again with my snares and my N sixty four, so that I can right. hopefully get some game capture from them. Um, okay. Because ideally, if I can find a few more games for those, that would be good. Yeah. Um, and some of them aren't obscenely expensive either um, okay. which is quite nice 
And now that you mention the GameCube element, if I can find a copy of the Twin Snakes, Metal Gear Solid the Twin Snakes, cheap enough, yeah. i.e. not for £50 CEX, <laughs> um, yes. then I might be tempted by that um, just purely to try it out myself. I've, it's a complete ridiculous stray from the actual proper version of the game. It's sort of a, a remake where... For whatever reason, it's shot like it's the Matrix. <laughs> oh, right, okay. <laughs> In terms of, like, I think the film had just come out when they were developing the game and they went, ooh, this is cool, let's do everything in, like, bullet time and pan the camera around and, yeah, all that <laughs> malarkey. So all it, that yeah, jargon. It's, it's completely different from the original game, but I want to experience it myself and see what it plays like. Yeah, okay, then. Sounds interesting. Mm. So yeah, kind of going down a Nintendo route, really, because I, I realise that I, I most of my stuff is very Sony-based and very PlayStation-y, so I want to kind of branch out as much as I can. Yeah, I'm sort of the opposite. I'm, obviously, I'm Nintendo-based. <laughs> <laughs> but I yeah, I'm trying to branch out to more Sony PlayStation, PlayStation stuff now. Mm-hmm. I I I'm, I mean I say that all I've done recently is buy Snooker nineteen. <laughs> so it's, it's not like I've gone too far into Sony and PlayStation. Very addictive game. <laughs> Presumably that's PS4, is it? Yeah, it's PS4. Yeah. But yeah, now if I oh yeah, if I see a backwards compatible PS3 there, that's mine. <laughs> oh, okay, with the sixty gig one. Yeah, if I see that there, that yeah. is immediately a purchase. <laughs> I've I've got enough money for it. I've saved, if that makes sense. Not specifically for it, but I've saved and done us overtime and sort you know. So I've got and it's also Comic Con month. <laughs> oh, okay. So yes. Yeah, gaming market at gaming market and Comic Con month. So I've got myself a chunk of enjoy money. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, but however, if I do see a backwards compatible PS3 next weekend it will be immediately purchased without hesitation what are they kind of going for now just out of interest i do not know oh okay <laughs> i it's it's always fluctuated mm. yeah about 6 months ago it was 65 i was seeing them on ebay which is great that's not bad no but i did i have been looking this week and they're about 110 what Yes, so I'm I'm actually going to look right now while we're live. That is obscene. Googling live yes. on air. I know. Uh, I'll tell you what. Let's get onto the Wi-Fi, not the had, mobile data. There we had go. had one of those brand new, and I ruined it by putting a DVD ca- uh, case on the top where the vents are. Halfway oh, through yeah. the film, I was watching Dead PlayStation Three. I was not happy. Oh dear. That's yes. Not good. No. It's d- definitely not advised that one. No. Because they get. Re- <laughs> Ridiculously hot, but uh, thankfully my better half managed to find one the Christmas before last somewhere, oh, okay. and and purchased a new one for me. So oh, I now I now have the the kind of the newer one in the living room that just plays PlayStation Three games, <laughs> and then I have the backwards compatible one in the recording office, so that I don't have to dig out the PlayStation One and Two. I can use that one console. Which yeah. is handy. Oh, that's not too bad, then. Hmm. I'm just yeah. Oh, I'm just looking at game uh, the things now. Mm. Eighty pounds. There's one. Oh, that's not bad. Hundred and twenty, seventy six, hundred and twenty. Yeah. But they, it ranges because some are coming with game bundle. Bundle. Some are still. Oh, of course. Some yes. have the box. Some... You're looking at about a hundred average. So if you can get one for under £100, say, with no games, because yeah. what's the point, and maybe, like, a controller? Do you need a controller, even? I've got one, but I haven't used it for a couple of years, because it was with the old PS3, but that's dead in the, dead right. in the water now. Okay. That burned out completely, and I thought, well, I might as well get a yeah. backwards one now. Of course. Yeah, I suppose, yeah, if you can get one unboxed one with one controller... Yeah. You'd probably, yeah, 60, 70 quid seems fair. Yeah, should be. We'll see. Hopefully. Hmm. Yeah, and then get a bit more into Sony, figure out how to do the game capture of it, and have some more videos. Uh, the PlayStation 3 you need the weird cable for, but... Yeah, I've got a weird cable that's compatible with the N64, but I, 
with a SCART. Oh no, there's a there's another yeah, cable there's a... that only plugs into a PlayStation Three. Yeah, it's like the weird sort of thin rectangular with a little bit in the middle, isn't it? Is, yeah. Is it one of the, yeah. Yeah. I don't know what that's called. Yeah. I'm sure someone, if they know, will cleverly correct us in the comments. I don't know why you have to use that cable because I've tried using the bog standard HDMI thing and it for whatever reason it just doesn't like it. I yeah. think it gets a bit weird and jerky. Yeah. So. Oh, we'll see. Yeah. But either way, by the time we get to our next podcast... I would hopefully have acquired some more things. Uh, <laughs> yes. Just in general. Hmm. I will have the gaming market and Comic Con, so. Ah, so you will have furnished your room potentially as well, yes. a bit more. More furnishings and more possible bits for content, hopefully. Hmm. See, that's what I'm really looking forward to once the house is finally done. Really yeah. kind of setting up shop properly. Yeah. It will be good. Yeah, should be all right. Hmm. Cool. Cool. Yeah. No, I'm. I'm looking forward to the gaming market. It'll be fun. <laughs> yeah, it'll be a laugh chance for the four of us to just mess about for a few hours up there and see what we can find. Yeah. And Have uh, a nice lunch. <laughs> yeah, and thankfully it's quite nice and close to the uh, train station, so we haven't got to do too much walking. Because yeah, walking perfect. is evil. Yes, I have to walk. Half hour to work and then half hour back. So I don't want to do any more walking. No, no, it, no. It's more the walking. weekend. Yeah. No. <laughs> walking is bad. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, well, are you? Did you say you were hoping to do a bit of content in some degree? Uh, what? While we were there. Yeah. Yeah, I'll I'll see what we can. It, I. It depends how busy it is, how noisy it is. Um. Yeah, there might be a few bits where I drag you in front of a camera, um, <laughs> or it might yeah. just be me wandering around with a camera, just recording bits and pieces, and maybe doing a voiceover afterwards. I'm not entirely sure yet. It's it's gonna kind of be turn what? up and and <laughs> see what's see what's what, and then we're going there on the Saturday the 18th, aren't we? And we I'm, are, yeah. I'm hoping to get the stuff up on my channel. Ideally, the Tuesday or the Thursday after. Oh, perfect! Okay. I think I've I've already kind of penciled in that time slot. Perfect. Um, yeah. Yeah. So I should look out we'll for that. See what's what. Are My you taking a is... camera yourself, or? I may do. Yeah. Yeah. It's just in case anything crops up. Mm. Yeah, I'll have one with me probably. Cool. Yeah. My other half at Comic Con will be making a vlog. And for yourself put, or for herself? For herself, for her channel. Oh. Which she started some time ago. <laughs> oh, She's okay. had over a thousand views, I think, on some videos. Really? Just, yeah, just talking about um, her life and I think some possible mental health issues and I, or, you know, discussions, something along those lines, you know. so oh, she's that's cool. Yeah, um, I think she's going to post something again, so... Oh, she's going to vlog Comic Con. A bit of a difference. Well, but she yeah. will be fun. And I'm yeah, sure I'll nice. help her edit that together. <laughs> nice. Enjoy that. Yes. <laughs> literally, literally the worst part of, of anything that we do. I stand by that. If I, if I could find somebody who wanted to edit my stuff for free <laughs> or for a biscuit and a cup of tea, I would happily rope them in. <laughs> yeah. See, Never I like editing, editing, but yeah, if I like editing, but after an hour, it does. There is that voice in your head that goes, "Oh God!" Yeah, <laughs> is yeah. it not done yet? It's literally a ten-minute video. Why is this taking an hour and a half to edit? <laughs> <laughs> well, in the um, Pokemon moves that make no sense, I had recently on Tuesday, just mm -hmm. gone. Tuesday, yeah, Tuesday, just gone. Yeah, it was get Tuesday. Fact. Yes. Yeah, that involved forty-three moves. Spread over 67 Pokemon. So I had 67 individual images popping up and popping out. and Oh, oh of course, yes. Oh, yeah, they all popped in with an animation, popped out with yeah. an animation, and had a sound effect. So 67 times 3 is a lot. 201. <laughs> so I had 201 yeah. individual bits to edit, and it was mind-numbing. But <laughs> when you see the end, I was quite happy with it. I was like, good, that's fine. Yes. Send. <laughs> yeah, it's it's Upload. nice when it's done. 
and you exactly. go, oh, okay, yeah, that did work out quite nicely. That that looks how I intended it to look. I think yes. that's why a lot of the time, certainly at the moment, I go uh, gameplay because then I can just shrink me in the corner. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no edit cuts or discussion piece. Me to camera. Yes. <laughs> Literally cut out all the gaps, all the mistakes, all the ums. Yes. Starting to regret these top ten Tuesdays every other Tuesday now, but I'm, I'll get there. I'm sticking to it. <laughs> Fair play. Fair the play. next one will be the top a uh, top twenty Tuesday, which is my top twenty tips for Zelda. That should be more fun. It's going to be just gameplay and a voiceover. Oh, nice. Still edited together, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah that'll be that'll be out. So That's yeah. That's the plan. Um, this was a lovely sort of bumper gaming market podisode today. Yeah, it was a kind of a more of a. Just a general chat, I suppose. There's that salute yeah. again. Yeah, general chat. To go with um, general whatever the other one was. <laughs> Can't remember. It wasn't general. Qu- anyway, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, well, um, I'm sure we'll let everyone know with your video and with next um, Fortnite's podcast as well. Yes. Yeah, there might, there might be still a few bits and pieces to wrap up from it then, or who yes. knows. Who knows? We next, might just yeah, yeah. Next for uh, Fortnite's podcast, if we record on a Thursday night, will be for me the Thursday before Comic Con. So it'll be, you know. Oh okay. So we'll be filming it almost twelve hours before I enter the, <laughs> the oh, arena. Of course, yes, because you've got the early ticket. That was the Comic Con I was going to go to, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, there's another well, one in October. Yeah, I was going to go to the Saturday, I think, and then you know, money decided to yeah. not be around so yeah October will be good yeah see if I can get yeah. down there for them I'll be going for that one yeah cool but yeah oh okay well, well okay. until then <laughs> yes. until next weekend until I, yes yeah I, yeah I guess I shall see you later see you next Saturday yes yeah, see you next Saturday bye bye <laughs>